Okay, Ape Army, this is Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video with a predictive model of what we could be doing Monday. Now, Friday we see that it ran perfectly with this model up until this point. Then the pattern shifted and it went up instead of down like it was supposed to according to the model. But I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And we're going to take a look at this particular pattern has inverted itself in the past, last week. So if we take this and we invert it again, and we set it in, it matches fucking perfect in a consolidation mode right there. So all the pattern did was invert itself once again. It's done it in the past. We were watching for it. And I'm pretty stoked about it doing that because that means it's getting fucking close. We'll stretch it back out to there. Now, it went down in the pattern, but it decided Friday evening it wanted to go up. It inverted itself. What that causes me to believe is that it set up the candles necessary to match up our rip candles. I'm going to get rid of this. It's set up for our rip candles for Monday. So, I'm pretty fucking stoked about that. My, I highly, highly like to say that shit. Oh, my tits are jacked. So, that's fine. Uh, another part of my anatomy is jacking too. I ain't going to be nasty though. But that's it. I think that's what's going to happen Monday. If it doesn't start off the day like that, then what we will do is we will just come over here. We will look at our patterns that are playing themselves out right now. Because we're in the whole pattern. Okay. Pull this down a little bit. And it's going to play one of these five patterns. So, once we get a little price action down here, we'll be able to identify which pattern we'll be running, and we will overlay it with the price action, and we will be waiting. What we will be waiting on will be a place where this fits in there. Boom, like that. That is so fucking perfect. And the last time it was perfect like that, it ran to 26. So, we're looking good, AMC. We're looking real fucking good. Possibly for Monday. Now, this will not be the Moaz, but it will be the rip. Because, remember, what will be happening during this first initial rip will be the shorts will be covering their 96,700,000 shares that they're shorted that you see on Ortex and Fintail. That is what will be going on right here. Once it reaches... Probably, I believe the first rip is going to take us all the way to around, and it could be this week, it's going to take us to around 48. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, fuck it. We ain't supposed to do this because when you're wrong, people give you shit. But I believe the first rip's going to bring us to 48. Why I say 48? Because there's going to be a battle at the 50. This could happen by Friday. There'll be a battle at the 50 because of the option markets. And it'll probably get pushed back down to around 48. But that's my prediction. That's just the way I feel the stock is moving in accordance to the pattern. Now, is there a place for TA? And by TA, I mean technical analysis with lines and and Wyckoff, and what's the uh, RSI and the MACD doing and all that shit. Yeah, there's a place for that. But here's the thing. It's going to be irrelevant because no matter where your lines are drawn, when this thing rips like this, this is a, right now, our price is here. So this is a resistance line. This is a resistance line. This is a resistance line. What that means is there's going to fight. They don't want to go above that. It's going to fight. It's not going to want to go above that. It's going to fight. It's not going to want to go above that. But the point is, when this motherfucker decides it wants to go, these lines are going to be totally irrelevant. 
just like if you watch some people that do TA and they have the blue lines and the red lines and it looks all pretty and shit. These blue lines are support lines. The stock is really supposed to come down to it, bounce up, and go back. But a lot of times it falls way down here. So that means the support line was bullshit. Just like these resistance lines are bullshit. When it decides to go, it's going to fucking go. Just like my wife did. <laughs> but that's my uh, prediction for next week. I believe we're going to start out strong. We're going to have a push up. Then we should get way up here. From here to here. Probably next week. Once it does that, that's when the shit hits the fan. We should run from here to 200, and then from 200 on, 2 to 100, 300 and on, up to 800, 700. I say 720. Lou says 8. I'll meet him in the middle and say 750. That'll be the, the next rip. That's when the warning box comes into play, which we'll talk about in a later video. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did, like the video, subscribe if you're not, because I'm fixing to start bringing some other TA. So for Sundial and Prong is next. Love y'all. See y'all uh, Monday morning.